Okay, so probably one of the first things you want to do after you've uh, installed your OpenCart store is you probably want to change the look of the store and the way you do that is you install a custom theme. Uh, you can get a custom theme from the OpenCart.com website. If you go to the OpenCart.com website and then you go down to extensions, you come to this page here. And what you can do here is you can filter down, I just want themes. Uh, we're just going to do a free theme today, so we're going to go, we want free themes. And then critically important is that you choose your OpenCart version, and of course these tutorials are based on the 2.0 version, so we're going to go 2.0. And we can see there's a few themes here to choose from. Uh, we've chosen this theme here free OpenCart 2.0 template. Template and themes are interchangeable so it's a, it means the same exact same thing and you can download your theme here. We've already done that. It's on our hard drive so when you download it just make sure make a note of where you've saved it to. Okay and so the next part is we need to go back to our store so we're just going to log into our OpenCart store And I'm just going to, there's a bit of confusion now about uh, the latest OpenCart version and what they call the extension installer. This cannot install your OpenCart theme for you. This can install modules. And modules and themes are totally different things, all right? So there's actually no way to use the admin interface to install your OpenCart theme. You need to do it either through an FTP program, which is a little bit more complex than we want to get into here, or as most of you already would know how to do, log into your cPanel and use the file manager. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to use cPanel and the file manager in cPanel to upload our new theme. Now we need to go down to our file manager, which is again is in the files section click on file manager and I'll just reiterate the importance of being in the right directory so we can see here that public HTML I'll refer to this often is the is the web root it's when someone goes to your URL to visit your website this directory's contents are displayed to them so this is called the web root and this is where we're going to upload our custom theme. So we're just going to go make sure we're in it. So we click on public HTML. We know we're in the right directory. And we're going to go upload. We need to choose our file. And we can see that the upload has started by looking at the bottom right hand corner here. Uh, in a moment it'll start popping up some statistics hopefully of how long it'll take to finish the upload only nine seconds so we're just going to wait for this one right and that's complete we can see it's complete here so now we can go click this link here and it'll take us back to our web root and we can see now that that's the package that's the template zip file that we've downloaded to our computer and now we've uploaded it to our web host using cPanel. So let's just extract those files and what's happened there is, let's just take a moment to examine this. Uh, the archive which was our zip file has extracted and what it's done is it's directories and files are all in the correct paths for OpenCart installation. So we can see all these catalog files have been extracted, an image file, uh, Im image directory image files. And so what's that? We see here that there's actually no change here. We look at this and we go nothing actually happened. But what happened is when we extracted it it had a directories called ca uh, catalog directory inside it and an image directory inside it with files in the correct OpenCart paths. So what it's done is it's placed all the correct files already for us in catalog and in image. So in, in act actual fact it's installed itself just by us click clicking extract. So let's uh, 
let's jump back here to our OpenCart dashboard and let's just see if we were uh, successful and the way to check is we need to go we'll just pop this open we need to go into system settings and then we choose you may have more than one store we have one so we're just going to edit our store and we can see here if we just scroll across here the template option here and if we drop this down we have a new template to choose from and there we can see it's loaded up the image so now we're just going to click save and now we are going to have a look at the front of our store so let's just go and see what we look like now and you can see we've actually changed the uh, the look of the front of our store uh, to our new theme let's just have a look at that again let's roll it back to the old theme so we can see the differences this is the new theme installed but we're just going to refresh it so we can contrast it with the old theme there you go two different uh, open cart stores and that's basically how you install a new theme uh, once you're done with the zip file you can either delete it or as we've done with the open cart installation package we've left it in the same directory but that's how you install uh, open cart theme